Welcome back to Tested by Pixel Movers. This time we're uh, having a little bit of a branch out and we're going to test this DeLonghi Cappuccino bean to cup machine. And all the details, the model number, and everything will be um, at the bottom of this video with the description. But it's a very nice looking machine. It's got a nice um, kind of like brushed steel, uh, stainless steel front for most of it. And there are a few plastic bits um, like on the front of this water. Uh, container there which just slides out and you just fill it with water pop it back in and it'll just beep at you when it's uh, when it's engaged and so on the top they've got the uh, cup warmers and the bean hopper so you put your beans in there you've got a little dial as well which you can um, change the coarseness of the grind depending um, like if you want a cafe crema you can do a finer coarse grind that will give you more of a creamier um, uh, cafe crema on there. That's the um, part for just one spoonful of pre-ground coffee. So you can use pre-ground coffee in this as well, but just one spoon at a time for one cup. Like I said, the cup warmer on there, as it's being used, the machine, the top of the machine gets warm. And so you can put your cups on there and keep them nice and warm. Let's come around to the front of the machine. And here we've got the nice um, illuminated display. In the middle here you've got the dial which you can turn the dial and that will change you to the different coffee options so short coffee standard coffee long coffee extra long coffee and the my coffee option which you can pre-program um, to produce a coffee of your liking with a set amount of coffee set amount of milk so you just turn that left or right and that changes the type of coffee and if you press the dial you then get your bean strength so whether you're a mild, standard, strong or extra strong coffee, um, that will change that for you. Just got a little um, drip container under there at the moment because I did a rinsing cycle on it. So what we'll just do, I'll show you the rinsing cycle. So you just press this button in the bottom corner here which has the water droplets and that will then go through um, a rinsing cycle so it will rinse through the um, the coffee spouts and the water spouts on there for you. And there it goes, this illuminate, illuminates your cup as well and you can move this uh, coffee spout up and down to accommodate different size cups. Now, unfortunately I had a Tassimo machine before this and some of the cups that I had for the Tassimo machine wouldn't fit under here um, so it will only take up to a, a certain height cup. And there you go, it's uh, cleaning the the water spout that water spout there is mainly for just producing um uh, boiled water so you can make a cup of tea so you pop a cup under there and um tea bag in and just ask it to produce some hot water for you and you see that it comes with a starter kit there as well so you've got your water filter in there if you're in a hard water zone and inside there there's various cleaning bits as well now this is the program button, um, so the program, the preference button. So you press that and turn the dial, and that will give you various different options, uh, from setting the temperature, water hardness, um, various other options in there. So once you've turned it to whatever you like, so this one's the the um, the temperature setting. You can then just turn the dial, and it will change those dots to either low temperature or high. I have it on high um, because I do like a nice, good, warm or hot cup of coffee. And it tends to do fairly well. Um, on coffees with a lot of milk in, it does tend to be a little bit um, cooler. Um, so what you do have to do with, with some cups of coffee that you're making is that are predominantly milk based. It's just pop it in the microwave for about 30, 30 seconds. And that'll sort it out. Now this, this water spout just pulls off. And that's because what you can do, you get with it a uh, milk carafe, which is this. So you can fill this with milk, keep it in the fridge and this stores your milk for making milk based um, coffees um, so you've got your little spout there which pulls down so it can get closer or further away to the, the rim of the cup and then on the top here you've got a dial as well and if you just slot this in so you just push it until it engages it'll beep at you as well once it's in there and that's basically for dispensing your milk so then you've got this dial across the top which can give you various different options for the amount of foam that you like so you can go for a small amount of foam, 
medium up to a large amount of foam. What you can do is I set I can set this to around about the one two o'clock position and it will give you a decent amount of foam for doing latte art, um, which I'll show you later. You can have a laugh at my um, terrible attempt at latte art. So what we'll do here is just do a um, quick demonstration. So you just place your cup underneath, pull this nozzle down so it's close to the rim so you don't get any splash back and spraying. And so these are your two different buttons for like a single cup or a double shot and then your cappuccino button for just doing a straightforward cappuccino automatically. With this we'll press the single one, it's set to extra long coffee, press the single button and it shows you that it's making one extra long coffee here. So this will have no milk automatically placed in, it will just have um, a nice extra strong um, single shot of long coffee. And it shows in the display the progress. So it's just getting up to temperature first, so there's no movement. And then once we're up to temperature, then it'll start dispensing. As you can tell, it looks like a nice, nice strong uh, brew there coming through. So you'll obviously hear it grind first. It'll grind the beans from the hopper at that required um, coarseness that you've set on the dial. Uh, once it's done that, the beans then drop into the unit inside where it's compressed and it will brew um, through the, the the beans that you've um, that you've ground there. Once that's all complete you'll hear it then chug away a little bit and then it's basically dropping the dropping the puck of um, used coffee into the um, used uh, coffee dispenser in, inside. Um, I'll show you at the end of here that how, you, how you can pull out the drip tray um, and empty the drip tray and you've also got a, a little catchment pod for the uh, for the coffee pucks as well so this is just finishing up and there you've got your straightforward extra long coffee that's all you want if you just want a black coffee that's your extra long coffee you could press the button again and do another shot of that if you want a, um, a longer drink just do it again because it will give only a certain amount of coffee out for that extra long coffee it's preset for the machine so what I'm going to do here, though, I want this with milk. I mean, this is kind of like doing like a cappuccino, but I'll, I'll do the milk here. Um, just press the cappuccino button twice, and that will then give you just froth milk. So if you did want to make a hot chocolate, you know, you can get the chocolate powder, which you can then mix with a bit of sugar, a small bit of milk, mix that up into a paste, and then you could just ha um, add uh, froth milk to that and create a hot chocolate with, with this machine as well which I've done a couple of times with my children and they absolutely love them. And at any point during the process of that milk coming out you can just press the cappuccino button again and that will just instantly stop the um, the milk coming out there. So in case you think it's going to overflow a bit, but there you go, a nice, nice creamy looking um, long coffee with some, uh, with some nice froth milk in. And the temperature of that one be, should be fine. Um, but like I say, you can give it a quick blast in the microwave if you need to. So we'll turn this dial again and just have a look what we can do this time. So if you've got long coffee, extra long, changing the strength, you've got pre-ground, so you can set that to pre-ground if you've put just a spoon from the pre-ground dispenser. Got a standard test. And this time, just lower the spout, so it's just an easy push down on the spout to lower it down to the size of the cup. Pull down the nozzle just so it's nearer the cup, and this time let's try a straightforward cappuccino. So a single press. Uh, we did a clean just before I did this little bit of video, so I'm going to have to turn this back from the clean option. So I'll turn it around to the medium froth, and we'll try that again. I'll try that again, we'll just press the cappuccino button once and this will automatically then make a cappuccino so it will get up to temperature, deliver the milk first 
and then it will deliver the coffee after the milk. And this is like I say, a set amount um, of milk and a set amount of coffee. So you can either, if you don't think there's enough there, you can press the button again, do another amount if you've got a big enough cup. You can go into the My um, Coffee Option settings there as well. Um, and you can press buttons which will basically start dispensing coffee. You press the button again to stop the coffee dispensing. Then you can press it again to dispense milk. Press it again to stop the milk and it will remember that for you. So you can do um, a My Coffee preset in there as well. So that's the milk dispensed. And there's the coffee. And this is quite a large cup, is this? I mean, I do have like a cappuccino cup as well, which kind of like fills the uh, fills this cup when you do a cappuccino. But this one's quite a large cup, mainly for the uh, if I want to do a latte or something like that. But once this is finished dispensing coffee, it will then pop up on the machine front on the display. It will say. Um, till, turn dial to clean position and that just means turning the milk froth dial down to clean and it will automatically do a clean through of the milk system for you. Now, I've drunk of quite a few copies, uh, quite a few coffees at this point um, so I'm not going to drink this one, I'm just going to set this to clean so it will clean into this cup and I apologise for wasting a nice cup of coffee there but um, if I drink any more I think I, don't, I won't sleep tonight. But this is, uh, it produces a lovely coffee, does this machine. Absolutely, everyone I've done, um, whether it be a cafe crema type coffee, um, just a, um, a a long a long coffee, black coffee, um, even when I was just with a small amount of milk in, right through to lattes, you know, it, it, the, the coffee this machine produces is very, very nice. Um, it's a very capable machine. Um, DeLong you do a lot of other machines um, that take it even up to a, a higher level of um, automation um, so this time what we're doing is just showing it doing a long coffee again just moving the cup forward there into the long coffee position spout down again so this is just going to produce coffee and no milk. Gets up to temperature and then produces the coffee. Obviously, you hear it do the bean grind first because um, it is a direct to uh, uh, from bean to cup machine. So I'm going to stop this because that's that's only the amount of coffee that I need. And it shows how easy that is. So you just need the uh, the cup of coffee there. And I'm going to put a jug under here, and this time I've turned the dial, like I said, to the one or two o'clock position. I'm just going to press cappuccino twice and do some froth milk using that particular milk froth setting. gets up to temperature and there goes the milk and this is going to produce a nice um, thick creamy bubbles froth on top of this um, ideal for doing a, um, a bit of latte art if you're that way inclined I've never done latte art so this was my first attempt um, without looking at any tutorials or anything like that and feel free to uh, have a good laugh so there we go, so you've got your cup of coffee there and we start pouring the, uh, the froth milk. So obviously the milk goes in first. And I obviously wasn't doing this how you're supposed to do it but it gives a, an idea of the, the froth that it does produce is quite nice. Oh, drip, 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 all over the place. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> and yeah, need some practice. Right, this is just showing where you take the water tank out. So the water tank's been removed, and this is the um, the um, fusing unit inside. Um, so where your coffee puck goes into, and that every now and again is taking out and just giving a, a clean through. And then you just slide back in the water container. 
engages and gives you a beep. And then finally, this is the how to remove the drip tray. You just pull it forward, nice and steady. And you've got your little plastic container there, which contains all the um, coffee pots that have dripped through or dropped through. So you just empty that out into your food waste bin. And obviously, this this top lid comes off. This chrome lid here comes off the top of the drip tray. The little red bit in there is the float. So if it does get too full, your machine will register that, and it will tell you um, that it's getting full and it's emptying. So it's never going to overflow, hopefully. So once these are all emptied and cleaned, you just pull them back in. And again, then just slide it back into place. Dead easy. And that's it. Thank you for watching. This is the uh, Delonghi Cappuccino.